Now, you may have seen one of these, or you might have one of these. It's a little uh, microscope you can get very cheaply from Amazon. Uh, this particular one is less than £20. I have a link for it below. Um, this is actually a lot more useful than you think. Just take the cover off of here. You have to be at very close distances in order to, to look at a board uh, like this one here. Uh, if you wanted to see these these components and, and, and get an accurate reading, you'll be really really close to it um, to, to get it to get it into focus. Uh, if you have a look uh, here, you have to be really close to see what you want to look at. So if you're trying to work on these small electrical components, you have to make sure that your little this little microscope is that close now if you want to get a soldering iron on the underneath here you can see that's really not 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 very practical is it but there's a trick to this okay and i'm going to show you just take off this little bit there right and you doesn't matter if it's on or off but what you want to do is you want to twiddle the knob so that your camera is just looking out the front there and then what you're going to do is you're going to screw it in. Now they don't tell you about this in the manual. They don't show you how to do this. But it is something which you can do. Now what this is going to do... Now I'm going to screw this all the way in so that you can see the extremity of this. Now if we take a look at the screen now, at that distance, I've changed the focal length, so at that distance I can't see anything. If I come all the way up here, look, all, all the way up here, and then I twiddle this knob, I will get focus. Not quite, but I'll just take a picture. Just about there you go. See? So I now have plenty of space under this device. If I put this on a stand or something like this up here, uh, there's plenty of space to mount this much further away from that board so that I can work on it with a soldering iron. Okay? Uh, and if you do want to go in closer, you can actually still do that. So if I needed to read the numbers on those teeny tiny resistors, now I can put this upside down, I can actually turn this look at that. You can see that you can quite clearly read the numbers on those resistors from here. So you've got a much better focal length than you might imagine you can get with one of these devices for less than £20.